Okie dokie. Another Excel problem. In this case, we want to approximate the area under this curve from 2 to 4 using right sums and 4 equal segments. So we want to throw the x values in the first row and the g values in the second row. We want to start the x values at 2 and we want to break up from 2 to 4, 4 equal segments. So we will do equals 4 minus 2, which is 2, and then divide that by 4 for the 4 equal segments. So we get 0.5 in between each x value. So we will go here and hit equals. We'll do b1 plus 0.5. And so that'll represent adding 0.5 each time as we go across all the way up to 4. So we have our x values 2 to 4 split up into 4 equal segments. And now we will plug in the function g in order to find the g value here and then click and drag it across to fill in our g values. All right. So we'll start with e, which in Excel is capital EXP. Now, whatever's in parentheses here will correspond to what's in the exponent here. So we want 3x divided by 10. So 3 times. And in place of x, we always want to hit b1. And so we don't want to type x. We don't want to type 2. We want to actually hit the cell that it corresponds to. And so then we'll hit divided by 10 and close the parentheses to finish off the exponent. And that should do. So this should be the g value at x equals 2. So if we click and drag, these should be the g values at the rest of the x values. So now, if we're finding a right sum, we only want to use from uh, we only want to use the height or the y values from 2.117 all the way to 3.32. We do not need to use this one. So if this is our width, <clears throat> 0.5 is our width, and the sum of the heights will be from here to here. We hit enter. This is the sum of our heights, which we just need to multiply by the width, since all of them have a, an equal width. So we'll do equals this times 0 0.5, and we get 5.37719, and that's it. Alrighty, I hope this helps. Feel free to check out the other examples. Okie dokie. Second examples for this problem using Excel. Let's jump right into it. We want X in the first row. We want G in the second row. We want our starting X value of 3 in the X row. And we want to split up the interval from 3 to 7 into 8 equal segments. So we want to do equals. We'll find the difference. 7 minus 3, which is 4. Divide that by 8 equal segments. And we see that 0.5 is the width between each of these intervals. So we have B1 plus 0 0.5. So 3.5. And if we click and drag this until we see 7, we should have what we need. So we have all these x values for which we will find the g values by typing in the function x sine of x into this first b2 cell. So wherever we see x, we are clicking on b1. So we have b1 times sine of b1, so sine of x. This should be the g value at this x value. So we click and drag this across to fill in all of the other g values. We are finding a right sum. So we will take all these right values, leaving off the first left value. So we do the sum of all these right values, leaving off the first left value. This is the sum of the heights, which we just need to multiply by our width, which is 0.5 between each rectangle. So we'll do equals this negative 13 times 0.5 we get negative 6.50412 and it matches option A here. 